hello everyone and welcome back to my new youtube channel i have a bunch more fun finds to share with you today as you can see and let's just get right into it so this week on instagram i don't know if many of you are in the vintage instagram community but i follow vintage v spot and they host a hashtag with another instagrammer i think it's old happy home and every week they encourage people to share their vintage finds with one specific hashtag um, for the retro roulette and this week it was salt and pepper shakers and ironically enough um i had forgotten about this haul of salt and pepper shakers in front of you i recently found at a yard sale so i'm going to share those with you and then the other ones i already had in my collection beforehand so yeah we're gonna talk about these and then a few other fun finds i've came across this week so far uh so first off um probably the cutest pair in my opinion uh from this haul were these elephant shakers and they are super cute they are ceramic arts studio madison wisconsin which is different because usually i expect these to be stamped with japan um they are super cute i actually might give them to my gammy she loves elephants and collects them adorable so this pair was two dollars but most of the other ones here were one and i haven't even taken the stickers off of them yet uh so next up i have these super cute cats um yeah these are marked japan and they are too cute love the green eyes and the markings actually like the same color as my cat cricket pretty much but just the colors in different places those are so adorable and i love mid-century ceramics made in japan next up are these anthropomorphic uh set of salt and pepper shakers it's a fork and a spoon running away from something presumably <laughs> and they're also marked in japan oh so another thing is half of these have the stoppers in them and some of them don't yeah those didn't have them in it uh but these ones do these are such a cute set i can't believe i forgot them in my picture that i shared of my salt and pepper shakers because i just found all of these probably a week ago all at the same yard sale and they were all super reasonably priced like one or two dollars a pair for these and usually when i find any cute ones i like in antique malls or something they're like 10 to 15 dollars if they're really cute like that so these were pretty much a steal next up from the same yard sale are these dear little lamb salt and pepper shakers i love them because they also look like bookends in a way and is this one marked it doesn't say japan but i'm willing to bet that's the maker and this was another two dollar pair um actually since i ended up getting so many things i think they did end up taking a few dollars off of the total price for us which was nice so even if they were two dollars it wasn't really that uh, i forget how much we spent altogether, but it was a pretty good deal next up from that sale are these salt and pepper shakers the men playing the instrument and um these are really neat they are marked made in occupied japan really cool find and another thing i picked up from that yard sale is this vintage pencil holder it's a mid-century and of course i was attracted to it because it has pennants on it even though i don't necessarily collect um university pennants i was drawn to this so oh geez it's hard to do this one-handed i'm like afraid to hurt everything okay um yeah, so it actually has some pencils, a nice sharpener actually in it. You know, that's, oh no, it's not a sharpener, it's a saving bank. That's different, I didn't even look inside of here yet. So, 
Yeah, this was a cool little find for a dollar. And that is actually an ink pen. I've definitely used something similar to that in art class before when we were doing ink work. So, yeah, I thought that was a cool additional little find from there. And it was only a dollar. So, picked that up. And the last pair of salt and pepper shakers from that one place was this set of black oil lamp. And funny enough, I already had the red pair of oil lamp salt and pepper shakers on display in my kitchen. I found those at a yard sale last year, I think for like 25 cents, and I love them. This was the last find from that one sale. And overall, it was a really nice, good haul of salt and pepper shakers, which I don't really come across that often reasonably priced. So those are some good finds, and I don't think I'll be able to part with all of them. So as I said before, I had found these, um, the red oil lamp salt and pepper shakers, at a yard sale last year. And then um, the other ones I wanted to share are just other salt and pepper shakers I already had in my collection. So I have this hound dog set. Super cute. 70s retro. They're plastic. Alright. I didn't share if these were marked. I forget. No, it just says patent pending. So I'm not sure about the make on those. But these are adorable. And this is one of my favorites. This is the one on display on my kitchen table all of the time. This adorable purple cow. For some reason, I love, like, I'm attracted to the purple cows more so than just, like, the plain colored ones. Just love the color. And, yeah, purple is my favorite color, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, she's carrying the salt and pepper shakers on her, like, bags, side saddlebags super cute and they're not the same let me look here at the bottom of her see what she's marked if she is no um it's not the same maker but I have two other purple cows one that is a sugar jar and one I think creamer no I'm not sure but these are not the same make, obviously, but I still display them together because they're so cute. And these ones were Mark Japan. Not in the best shape, but they are too adorable. I could not pass them up when I came across them. So yeah, I think this is one of the most clever. Oh yeah, this is Mark Japan. I see it now. All right. Uh, so this cow is Mark Japan. Such a clever way to display salt and pepper on the sides like that. Really cute. So this is my other favorite salt and pepper set. I found this at a um, church sale earlier this year. You know what? It was the same church sale. I found this and my pink daisy Pyrex Divided Dish for $1.25. And these were $2. And my Pyrex dish was $1.25, which is funny. But, like, hey, I'm not going to complain because two of my favorite finds this year from the same sale. And, yeah, reasonably priced, so that was great. Um, these are just, like, the most curious salt and pepper shakers I've ever came across. So, you have to love that. And, of course, my sister wanted them because she's becoming a dental assistant. But... I had to say no. <laughs> I said, no, I'm sorry. I'm obsessed with them. I usually keep them in my hutch with my current Pyrex display because I just like seeing them all of the time. <laughs> Is that weird? I don't know. Here's another pair of salt and pepper shakers I've held on to. Um, and I got these at a yard sale last year as well. Uh, they are Mark Japan. And while I think they're cute, I just have so many others that are my favorites that... I don't really feel like I need these, but they're still around. And um, the 
other pair I've kept to myself uh, are these songbird ones that are made in Japan and they actually used to make sound um, you can kind of hear it in there clinking down but not working the way it used to not really on that one but they still are beautiful and I guess if they were still functional making the songbird sounds they would be more valuable um, but I found these at Salvation Army last year in the original box and that was a pretty cute find next up on the subject of salt and pepper shakers is this huge lot of owl kitchen where i found all at one church sale earlier this year so it came with the salt and pepper a napkin holder a toothpick holder a creamer um oh you know what i don't think this came with that this is a separate one this is the one that came with the set yeah, because the eyes matched. Um, and this was the creamer. And this was the sugar jar. So this is a super cute set. Um, something that upset me about this. When I found it, it was at the beginning of a church sale, a church rummage sale. So we had waited in line for probably 20 minutes. And of course, someone else got the Pyrex like immediately. So I went into a separate room and found these and snatched them up right away. And then I actually also found a Catherine Holm a large brown pot uh, for $5 that's worth around 100 So that was a major score. Um, kind of like helped me heal the wound from missing out on the Pyrex. <laughs> but I also found these there. Um, just the point I wanted to make about church sales is that when everyone is rushing around, it's really unfortunate because you're trying to pick things and like find them first, but then like I put these all in my bag together and I'm pretty sure that's where these got these chips from because I don't think they were chipped when I initially picked them up. And that's my bad um, because I was rushing around like a crazy woman looking for Pyrex. Um, but. This is such a super cute little set, and I'm sad that I chipped it, but it's still so adorable. And I love complete sets like this that are all one theme. They're super mid-century and adorable. And then I just realized after I got all of this that I have so many more owl things that go along with it, and that's the napkin holder that went with it. But apparently I found this one. I don't remember where. It's the same style, just different eyes. So... Yeah, a lot that matches. This set is really cute. This one is adorable. This is a bank, and it's just marked BK492. Wide-eyed owl. I immediately thought of Crazy Lamp Lady when I saw this owl bank because she loves owls. Um, I think especially the wide-eyed ones. But yeah, that was an adorable find as well. And then... Just wanted to show these two other mugs I came across because they go with it too, so. Some super cute finds. I think these are from Salvation Army. Oh, Goodwill and Salvation Army. So, yep. They just went really cute with the set. So... Really big collection, just wanted to share, since I already had pulled a lot of these out this week from their respective spaces for the Retro Roulette, figured a lot of you would appreciate seeing them. Plus the haul I recently picked up at the one yard sale was just awesome. She had so many different ones there. Um, and yes, the last thing I'll share with you guys today is from a separate yard sale. Uh, I found this for a dollar, um, a 70s Easy Bake Oven, which I've never seen one in person from the 70s. And it doesn't look to be in the greatest shape and it didn't come with any of the accessories, forgive the oven itself. But it looks super cute. 
And we found some other kids' play toys from the 70s and 60s that I've been kind of hoarding just for whenever we decide to have kids someday. Um, I don't know if that's weird or what, but <laughs> I want to have a super kitschy, like, baby nursery and decorate kids' rooms super kitschy and have fun kids stuff like this whenever the time comes around. So I'm going to hold on to this, and it was only a dollar. I'm not going to let them play with it because I think that's probably a fire hazard, but I thought it was super adorable and figured you all would appreciate it. Well, thank you all for joining me and seeing my haul today, and we'll see you next time, and thank you for watching.